Well, we're back once again with the 89 Dodge Dakota. As you can tell, we're getting light bars and we're getting pod lights. Now, why do I need this many lights? Probably don't. However, the light bars you can probably tell is gonna go on there. Now, I know that's a little bit lower, but this thing, just the pedestals that come with it say they go up three inches. By me not measuring anything or calculating a darn thing, hopefully that's what I need. And the two little guys are going to be pointing backwards, right back at us right now. So I can light up the bed, whatever I need to do. Now, uh, this is some cheap thing off eBay, not going to lie. How this thing seems like it works is uh, all hand fine and dandy from, you know, the battery hookup to the switch to the, it's a uh, not solenoid, kind of solenoid. Regardless, don't matter. Did even have an inline fuse. Sure, hope there's a fuse in there, and I see green, so there must be. But here's the only deal here. See here, we got a positive negative. Here, we got a positive negative, and here, another positive negative. Now we look at the wiring harness itself. There's only one. So, I thought of. Luckily, I thought ahead of this a little bit. I'm not gonna have all these lights on at once. I mean, they probably assumed some Jeep guy who's taken his off-road vehicle and made it more off-road capable uh, is gonna buy this kit and they're gonna wanna run all the lights all forward at once. Well, I'm not that guy. Technically, this is a Chrysler product, which is kind of, it's just, a, it's more of a side-by-side -side for me that I do work with and drive to work. It's better fuel economy than that blue F Ford. If touche, but uh, regardless of that, this is all gonna be running differently. Um, so theoretically, the wiring harness they gave me is only gonna go to that, and I'm still undecided if I'm gonna run it up to the battery up front or if I'm gonna run it to back here. I mean, these guys, I don't see why I couldn't run it to back here, put a toggle over there, call it a day. But that guy, if there's some real foggy days or something like that, it might get used on my way to work. Technically, that's frowned upon, but if it's foggy out and no one can see their hand in front of their face, I don't see it as that bad of a deal. Now, if it's just a normal dark evening, those people are kind of being, uh, let's say, buttheads for a more politically correct term. So, with that all being said, um, I'm not really sure. I, I measured that bar up there once. That's where I plan on putting it. This might be a little bit bigger, which means I might have to turn the feet backwards so it's a hangout over here. But we're just going to, um, let's say let's, let's say in a more uh, politically correct way, mess around and find out. So uh, with that all being said, um, actually it's getting dark out, which if I had these lights wouldn't be a problem. But I don't yet. So probably actually going to start this in the morning just get everything rounded up and kind of get a plan put forth so that that way when I actually do this uh, I have a better idea of what actually I'm talking about I haven't sold light bars before I've actually never had one come with a harness I normally just make my own stuff so this will be a whole new thing for me to me for thick as these wires are though the solenoids are kind of overkill I mean I fully understand you can either use a lower amperage switch because it's not holding it's not uh it's not pulling so many amps and just talks to the solenoid, tells them it puts all the amps through there to these thicker wires. But to me, if you just use some decent gauged wire, because what I'm going to use is thicker than that to run up to the probably the front of the truck or back here, not sure which yet, it'd be just fine. But <clears throat> the one thing I forgot to get when I got the switch for those, I forgot to get an inline fuse set. And that is a definite must. If anybody listens to me ramble about anything, uh, when it comes to anything electronic that you're putting in a vehicle, Put an inline fuse in. That is the safest way to protect your vehicle from having a potential electrical fire happen. That way your fuse pops, you're good, theoretically. So if nobody takes anything else from this video and you put anything electronic in your vehicle, I don't care if it's a light bar, an electric fan, um, probably a winch, put an inline fuse. Uh, it could definitely save your vehicle. So. Yet again, enough talking. We'll recap in the morning when I have a game plan. Well, as you can see, I have the light bar installed. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I measured this, but this bar is a little bit 
long or, or the light bar itself is a little longer than this bar I had on here. Also, she's a little bit low with the cab, but this is more light bar than I'll ever need for what this thing intended purpose is for this thing. So I think she'll work out just fine. Now the way I decided I think I'm gonna run the, uh, what do you call it, wiring, is probably connect it, run it somehow up through here, right on into the cab here, down underneath, across, and the battery I think is on this side as well. So that's pretty much how I'm gonna wire this in. Um, I do think, I've been doing more thinking on this, the lights that are going to be backwards, the two little ones, they're probably going to go off this battery and I'll just have a switch accessible to myself from inside of the cab, such as right here, let's say, so I can just reach out the window, flip the switch, because nine times out of ten, I really won't be using these that much. Not that I'll be using this one a lot, but um, for convenience sake and not having 20 things coming off of that battery, I think it's just kind of my best move, because this battery doesn't get used a ton as it is. I mean, that wench has already been actually incredibly handy, but uh, for the most part, I won't use these lights super often, um, only a month or two out of the year, probably, and it'll just be a couple evenings, basically. Um, but if I have them, they're there, and that's what I wanted them for. Um, and also, if I ever need to work on something, I have plenty of bed space here, and I can just go ahead and do that as well, so... That being said, I'm probably going to run the wiring here, probably get the other lights on. Um, then we'll go ahead and see how everything works. Uh, I have not gotten an inline fuse yet, though, for these two bulbs that are going to be facing backwards. Um, I'll probably just temporarily put it on the power side of that. I'm not even going to probably put an end on the wire because I'm going to have to snip it off anyways. Just make sure it works as it sits. And then I'll go ahead and uh, see where we're at. Um, because then obviously I have to get the fuse. Like I've stressed before, if you listen to anything I say, put a fuse on your lights, subs, don't care what it is. Put something electronic in a vehicle, put a fuse on it. So that's why I'm going to temporarily just make sure it works. If it works, then I'm going to uh, get an inline fuse and then we'll be off to the races with it and this thing will be finished up. So I'm going to try to get this wiring in and we'll make sure this guy works. So the final fit and finish of this wiring isn't all finished up yet. Everything's kind of just hanging out. Now, whoever designed the wiring harness for this, they made the wire that goes inside the truck about twice as long as the wire that goes on the light bar. Uh, it's a terrible, terrible design. This is, like, I'll, I'll be first one. This is just a cheap eBay light bar kit. Nothing crazy. Well, it's not like I spent a lot of money, and I know I shouldn't be expecting that much quality, but you'd think that at least the... Uh, wiring would be long enough i mean the only way this is long enough for anybody is if you mount this thing on the front of your truck which this is a stupid big light bar to do that too it's actually stupid big for anything as far as i'm aware of i think even for the front of the f-250 it, it i mean you could probably blend it into the grill okay but it's still just it's 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 obnoxious um but uh, because of that, I had to go to this battery, not to the one underneath the hood, like I kind of wanted. But then I've also realized that when it's off, there's always a red light. So unless I pull the fuse, there's always going to be the light on, which means I'm kind of okay now with having it back to this back battery, so I don't ever accidentally kill my truck's battery. But obviously, you know, push the button. She comes on like it's supposed to. Um, I might get this thing out tonight, and uh, we'll see how bright things it really is. Um, I've had cheaper, smaller ones that I don't think had these flood type bulbs in them. And, uh, I like them a lot more. I didn't realize that's what this was when I bought it. But like I've said, it was a cheap eBay one. It'll work for what I'm going to do with it. So I'm not completely, I'm not like, uh, upset about it really. But now I got to tidy up the wiring, get this guy set somewhere. So here's the issue too, is like, there's how much, there's just not enough wiring. Like if I... But this guy right here, I'm still pulling on this whole fuse housing, and it's just, it's its not a great design. But somehow I'm going to get this guy connected onto here, so my relay is just hanging out. And, uh, yeah, I'm, this battery looks horrible. I mean, the wiring doesn't look bad, but the battery itself looks bad, because things that have done, that have happened previously with it, so. So I don't really want to show the top of the battery, but, uh. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to try to get the other two small ones put back, put on, and uh, 
see what we can do. Hopefully I have enough wiring around here. I used to, I don't know if I still do. I've moved too many times recently, but see if I can get those two going and uh, see if we can get this thing done. Oh, I got both the rear pods on. Um, it wasn't really a good way for me to, you can see my initial hole is actually drilled right here, to get a hole in there and then get a wrench in and do all that fun stuff. So just built some tabs off to come out and uh, yeah, they're pretty secure. So now I get to make my own wiring. I'm essentially just gonna daisy chain these two together. Probably run this one over there, connect it, negative, do the same. I could most likely run the negative straight to the bar, but I just don't like doing that because then I can run into potential grounding issues in the future. Like I said, there's nothing running to my factory battery, but I still might run it down here just for a using less of my actual wire and then I'll have to tidy up all of that because that's gonna look like a jumbled up mess whenever I'm done with this. But I'll probably do that in my free time and not in this video because that'd be a waste of everyone's time probably to watch that. So uh, let's get some wiring going. Well, there we are, these are installed, working. I mean, they're installed. Uh, I don't have any of the wires tidied up. They're just touching the posts on the battery right now because I'm not going to hook the switch up or anything because I don't have that inline fuse that I keep stressing about. And uh, I think if I do that and make it seem like it's finalized, I might not come back and finish it. But the wires are currently everywhere. I gotta tidy all those up yet too. But uh, all in all, it works. Hit the button there. We got light bar, we got pods. Like I said, the wiring currently looks horrendous, but uh, as for installation video, that's roughly how you do it. Um, so the switch is pretty simple. That's why I got plenty of length and wires here. Switch is just, you know, hook it into one end, hook it in the other end, put your inline fuse over. I put it close to the battery personally, and then, uh, hook yourself to the battery and you're there. Um, that's going to be it. I think for this one, really not a super intuitive video because I've been doing all three other things, including smoking some meat while doing all of this, but uh, I'm gonna spray some paint on stuff, tidy everything up, get my wires looking better. So they look horrendous right now, so. Yeah, that's gonna be that. Thanks for watching, everybody.